Thank you for joining me on this channel where we may be dazed, but we are not confused. We are going to be doing an awkward elevator silence epiphany reading. So in these readings, we are going to visualize a person or individual that you would be in an elevator with having a moment of maybe awkward silence and then we're going to take a look at the types of clarity or epiphanies that you might receive in that moment about that person and maybe what they may be realizing about you as well. So in each reading, you will have the opportunity to pick the elevator going up or the elevator going down. If you like, you can watch both. Be sure to check out your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, or any other types of houses or planets that you would be interested in seeing if it resonates for you. All right, let's get started. Gemini, if you pick the elevator going up, then the person with whom you are sharing this awkward elevator silence may appear to you as someone who is on the surface, almost like in a 10 of cups energy. So they feel very fulfilled. You know, they have, they're happy in their home life. They're happy in their personal life. They're happy in, you know, their work life, all of those things. However, I feel like the epiphany that you're having about this person is that they are actually exhausted. They are psychically exhausted. They are very much burned out and it's just a huge load to um, carry. I feel like they are taking on a lot of the energies of the people around them and it could be empathy overload, um, which leads to psychic exhaustion. All right. So this is kind of like when a person says that, you know, they don't like to be out in large groups because they always feel like they're being drained. So it's kind of like that, but it's just like anywhere you go, everywhere you go, it's just, it's draining. It just, you don't have this sense of being rejuvenated. All right. So that's, what's weird is that we have the 10 of cups energy that this person is in at the base of it but it might what your epiphany may be is that the person is more uh, projecting that energy because it's almost what they think is expected of them all right um and the reality is that it's actually exhausting them it could be that whatever it is that they're perceiving as being this ten of cups energy for them which is the ultimate happiness the ultimate fulfillment is not actually their ultimate happiness or their ultimate fulfillment and so trying to keep up the energy of that is exhausting all right so i feel like you're seeing this person as um having an energy of being of having honor and good luck so i feel like this ties into this energy that they're projecting is one of you know honor being good having good luck and so on um but it may not actually be how they feel all right so you're seeing this person as having a lot of potential um thinking big for their future and wanting to come into that energy and have it be authentic for them but it just may be very burdensome to take on the energy of what maybe they feel other people say should be what that looks like and that in and of itself is creating this burden all right um you know i feel like it could have been you know it could be social circles it could be you know it, you know it just has to do with ideologies of what it means to be happy and fulfilled you know, and these are things that we learn early in life as well. And I feel like that's, you know, what you're recognizing that this person has to kind of break free from is the idea that they have to show up a certain kind of way in order to 
have the acceptance of what their form of happiness is. It could be that their belief is that um, there are only certain types of ways of embodying someone who is honorable, someone who has good luck, and so on. And so showing up like this is not in alignment with them and that is causing an issue and I feel like what you want for this person the affirmation for them is I feel transformed you want this person to feel transformed so let's read what that is okay it says I am awake and renewed refreshed and energized I rise up toward the sunlight and share this energy I have found my old self is gone, shed off, and my new skin lifts me higher, All right? So I feel like you want this person to be able to transform into the fullness of who they are. Like you want them to basically be able to self-actualize. All right. And when they're able to do that, I feel like this is going to be the source of the energy that they may be lacking right now because when it comes from an authentic place then they will project this energy of being in this ten of cups ultimate happiness ultimate fulfillment because they actually are in that energy but in, in order to do that they will have to transform the old ideas about who they are how they relate to their environment and how they relate to others in order to come into the fullness of that. All right, so let's take a look at the epiphany that this other person may be having about you. All right, so the person with whom you are sharing this awkward elevator silence may be viewing you as someone who may have been going through a lot of challenges, dealing with a lot of things, trying to overcome a lot of things, but not really being recognized as someone who has gone through a lot and come through a lot and emerged victorious. Um, the image I'm getting is of the Vietnam War and how when those soldiers would return back, um, the, they just really were not celebrated. In fact, they were treated very poorly and they were seen as being, you know, uh, villains. And that was for some just various reasons that played into that. But that's the kind of energy that I'm picking up. But I feel as if, you know, this person is recognizing that even though you've gone through a lot and you've had to show up for a lot of different things and you've had to, by necessity, emerge victorious in a lot of things, you know, this energy that you've taken on of, you know, always being ready to go to battle, um, show up, show out, make things happen is one that you're having to lean into even though um, you may not really feel that way like it may not actually be your norm to be in that energy and you and you may not know what you're doing in the moment like you actually just might be faking it till you make it but you're able to get through it and so on the on the surface it has you looking like you're always having good fortune you know, you're this awesome friend, like you're just this all around awesome, like unicorn energy type of individual. Like you've always got good fortune. Everything that you do seems to work out. Um, all of that, like there's just it, you make it look easy. Basically, I feel as if this person is recognizing that the reason you're not being recognized for what it is that you're doing is because you make it look so easy. And because you make it look so easy, um, people just assume that that's your default and, you know, they don't want to tell you all the time, you know, that you're just so great and fabulous and how are you doing this? So oh, that's so fabulous because they're just assuming that that's just your default to be that fabulous. So the reality is this person is realizing that that is not really the truth. It's like you are actually, um, having a lot of times you're having to wing it and make things happen. Okay. Um, but there may be something that you're doing 
that you're not really ready to move forward with or you're not in the space to do that. And, you know, it's like you're needing to take a step back and allow yourself to just kind of really not know how to overcome it or to not try to put on as if you can figure all the things out because it could backfire and you know, make you take on things that maybe you don't need to take on or, um, accept a role for something that you can't deliver on. And it would be better for you just to say that you can't do it than to take it on and have everybody expect you to do it. Um, this could be, this could actually be people volunteering you for things or assuming that you can handle things that you kind of can't because they're so used to seeing you handle all these different things and come out on top with it so it's basically saying like it's better to tell someone like no I don't think I'm going to be able to do that than to take on some massive project or some massive volunteer role and let people down because their expectation will be that you are this unicorn like you you should be able to do all of these things and not mess up and if you can do all of this then surely you can do this one thing when they don't recognize the amount of effort and work that you put into doing things that make it look so easy all right so I feel like the affirmation that this person would like for you is for you to know that you are sealed all right so let's take a look at what this says it says I have been sealed through sacrifice and my heart is protected through the one sealed within me I will walk through this day with strength knowing all darkness has been conquered on the outside and inside. All right. So I feel as if this person is recognizing at some level that you have had to overcome a lot in order to make the things that you do look so easy. And they want you to know, or they want you to feel as if you are protected like you don't have to constantly show up show out always be on top of things always taking on all this stuff in order to prove that you're strong or to get through very challenging situations they want you to have this sense of feeling as if even if you don't do that that you're still protected that you're still okay that you don't have to always be the one that's you know, challenging and overcoming and kind of being the wounded warrior, basically. All right. They want you to be able to take on this energy of saying, Hey, you know what? I really can't take that on, or that's going to be too much for me, or I don't think I'm going to be able to accomplish that part. And so I'm not going to take that on even in the face of people expecting you to, because they have this expectation of, of perceived greatness because you're always meeting these different challenges. All right. All right. So that is what I have for the elevator going up for the sign of Gemini. If this is your last video, then I may hopefully see you in the future. If not, then I may see you on the next video, which is the video going down. And until then, bye bye.
All right, Gemini, if you chose the elevator going down, then the epiphany that you're having about the person with whom you are sharing this awkward elevator silence is that this person is very, very analytical, very logically minded when it comes to making decisions. Um, this person is always two or three steps ahead of the situation and they're very much used to kind of controlling outcomes. However, this person is finding themselves in a situation where they are not able to actually control the outcome. And as such, it may have them in a state of not feeling very comfortable. You're recognizing that this person is trying their best to be strong and utilize their wisdom in making the best possible decision when they have absolutely no control of the outcome. This could be a person that's just very type A. Um, it could be someone that maybe is successful at what they do. They're showing up as a king of swords. So I feel like this is someone who's very much in control of like their mind, maybe not very emotional. Like they don't make their decisions from a place of emotion. They make it from a place of, you know, how is this going to benefit me? Um, how does this impact the entire grand schema of whatever it is that I'm making a decision about? You're recognizing, though, that this person is absolutely going to have to take a leap of faith, all right? Because the situation is so urgent that the only way for them to find peace with themselves is to take this leap of faith. Because if they were to sit where they are and try to calculate and figure out what they need to do in order to get a specific outcome then they are going to miss the opportunity to do anything. And I feel like this person is, you know, very analytical and they're analytical enough to recognize that, that they, that this is a situation where they're absolutely going to have to take a leap of faith because it's less risky to take a leap of faith in this moment than it is to sit back and wait until you lose the opportunity to do anything at all and try to figure out the best possible way that's going to make things pan out perfectly for that individual. All right. Um, I feel as if part of this too is that this person in trying to be two or three steps ahead always needing to kind of be in control of the outcome. This also causes them to make decisions that are not actually authentic to who they are and what they would choose if they kind of had nothing to lose or if they perceived themselves as having nothing to lose. And so maybe, you know, part of your epiphany is you're recognizing that maybe a lot of what this person does, even though it tends to pan out and they are they seem to be like in their element and things are exactly the way that they want them. The reality is that it's not actually exactly the way that they want it because they're not authentically making decisions because they know that if they were authentic, there's an element of risk and a huge chance that it would not pan out. So they would rather do the thing that seems like it's going to be the most advantageous than to do the thing that's the most authentic. And so for that reason, you are wanting this person to incorporate this affirmation. I am authentic. It says, I have been afraid to remove my mask and expose the truth I hide. Today, I am called to be free and to let go of the fear. I choose to step into the light and walk boldly as my authentic self. So this is how you see this person is you see them as someone who is needing to take this leap of faith as a first step 
in being their authentic self and just allowing themselves to go with the flow and see what happens by following that urge, okay? So, let's take a look at the epiphany that this other person with whom you are sharing this awkward elevator silence may be feeling about you. All right, so the epiphany that the person sharing the elevator with you may be having is that you are maybe ignoring some red flags that are signs of maybe some type of conflict that could either be coming into the future, coming up in the future, or that you are currently in, all right? So, you know, I'm feeling as if this person is seeing you as almost putting in effort into something that you care about, but whatever it is that you're putting effort into, it's like it's not being reciprocated, like it's not returned. So this could either be in a relationship, this could be in some type of job, it could be in any kind of thing, you know? something that you're just putting more effort into that is not returning that same amount of energy and effort and that there are huge red flags that this is the case but for some reason you are not picking that up all right this person may see you as it's almost as if you are looking at the situation kind of with like rose colored glasses like you're turning your back to the negative and I mean this is more of like the shadow aspect of just being all love and light like it's important to be that but if it's at the detriment of being able to see if something is not giving you that energy and that you need to take an action to either remove yourself or to recuse yourself of participating in that it could become incredibly toxic. So it's almost like they see you as trying to make the best of the situation. And because you want to make the best of the situation, it's like you are turning a blind eye to all of the, the, the dark, the gloomy, the toxic, the unrequited nature of what's going on in the reality of the situation that you're in. And it's almost like you're trying to I feel like this person feels that what your intentions are is to kind of like use some inner alchemy and, and make the best out of it, which is a positive thing. It can lead to a lot of growth, but in your external situation, it, it almost looks as if you're just being kind of reckless in allowing yourself to get caught up in things that are very conflicting, um, situations that can't do anything but erupt into some type of issue all right that that would be detrimental to to that person all right so there's this sense of like needing to heal I feel like the epiphany this person is having is that maybe there's some healing that needs to take place in order to be able to accept and see things for how they are in this situation all right with this looking at things with like rose colored glasses it's almost as if it's like not being able to process the fullness of what is actually happening and then trying to paint the situation into something better and this is a coping technique that you know sometimes we pick up when we go through situations like this um however like I said, the issue is that it's not being met with another, you know, environment, social group or individual mirroring that energy and also trying to make the best out of the situation. It just seems to be they're just there in the space of not wanting to give to the situation or contribute or try to attempt to paint it into something else other than what they perceive it as being which is something that's unrequited okay so 
the affirmation that this person would like for you to take on and integrate is I will heal. All right, so let's read that. It says, my wings are a shelter alongside the brokenhearted, sharing comfort, truth, and light. So this person wants you to be able to either be a comfort to other people through this situation, maybe from your experience and what you've learned, maybe you can become a source of that for others who find themselves in situations like that. And I also feel as if they want you to have that for yourself. Um, because I feel like the epiphany that they're having is that the reason that you're doing this is because you are brokenhearted and you're, you're trying to save your heart from the reality of looking at something that would break it. If you had to see it for what it was, if you had to accept it for what it was, it would break your heart. And so what they're hoping for you is that you could receive comfort and truth and light in the situation while also being sheltered and comforted and protected as you kind of experience this emotion of recognizing how a situation is not actually serving you all right that you're putting more into it than what you've ever gotten back all right so that is what i have for gemini for the elevator going down if this is your last video then i may hopefully see you in the future if not then i will see you on the next video